Hey guys, this is Anthony from Bibles and Barbells. We're here today to answer a few questions that somebody just emailed to me recently regarding working out. And this person is telling me that he wants to get ready for uh, a bodybuilding competition. And he's asking me a question. He says, uh, how much protein do you think I should be eating daily? And how many grams of carbs should I have in my post-workout shake? Okay, so he's asking how much protein he should get. And my answer to him was as follows. Everybody's different, but generally, from my experience, the body can only handle a certain amount of protein at one time. You can't ingest 100 grams of protein and expect the body, your body, to efficiently digest that and use it to build muscle. So that's why in bodybuilding you try to eat, or in, in, in powerlifting also, you, you try to eat smaller mini meals more often throughout the day, therefore you're getting between 20 maybe and 30, 20 to 30 grams of protein per meal. That way your body's not getting shocked and your body can take that protein and put it to work for you. So that was my advice to this gentleman, um, uh, this young man that, that emailed us. About 20 to 30 grams of protein I have found in my experience and I think most uh, bodybuilders will Bodybuilders and powerlifters will tell you the same thing. Unless, of course, you're on the juice or you're taking steroids where you're going to uh, probably require more um, uh, protein. And we don't go, I've never gone down that road, and I don't recommend anybody go down that road. So about 20 to 30 grams. And then after a workout, you want to get some good complex carbohydrates in you. There's some good things on the market. You could also have something as simple as uh, uh, oatmeal. Uh, shred it up and, and put it in a drink or just have a, a small bowl of it after a workout with some water. Um, so again, on the carbohydrate, I would say about 40 grams maybe of carbohydrate, complex carbohydrate after your workout within about uh, up to about an hour after a workout. Okay, so that's the, my answer to that question. But first of all, <clears throat> more importantly, I'd like to read a piece of scripture from uh, Paul's letter uh, to Timothy in 1 Timothy, where Paul's given instructions to Timothy, and he says here in verse 8, he tells Timothy, For physical training is of some value, but godliness has value over all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. And what Paul's basically saying there is physical training is of some value, and we want to work out, we want to get our bodies in shape, and there's nothing wrong with that. But understand that being godly and reading your Bible and going to church and fellowshipping with others and serving in the community and doing things of that nature is much more important and should come first. Obviously, you do want to take care of your body, but, and physical training has some value. But in the end, it's how godly you are. And like we preach here, receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Okay? So that's our tip for today, our answer to our questions. Keep your emails coming, and keep praying for us, and we'll be praying for you guys. Until next time, God bless from Bibles and Barbells.